The technologies in the computing world are rapidly evolving each and every year. Particularly in 2017, we finally saw affordable hardware that is powerful enough to allow users to multitask heavily. Gamers can now livestream their gameplays without investing thousands of dollars in hardware, and content creators can browse the web while their video is being rendered in the background. But these use cases barely scratch the surface of what powerful, multi-core computers can bring to the world. What if we can share the resources with multiple users and cut down the investment in hardware? What if a single computer can serve multiple users at the same time? That's where Project Bartu comes in. The technology is now ready for a single, affordable computer to serve two, three or even four users at the same time. Many people have already attempted concepts similar to this before, with a complicated hardware and software setup. They had to use multiple graphics cards and set up a complicated Linux environment, which is not easy, even for an experienced user to follow. We wanted to make this concept extremely easy for an average person to use. There are many technical obstacles that we have to overcome. We have to manage graphics resources efficiently so that a single graphics card can serve multiple Windows installations. We have to implement automatic device allocation so that external peripherals such as USB keyboards and memory sticks can be used by individual users. We have to tune and optimize the general performance around virtualization, which is the underlying technology of this concept. And finally, we have to make the entire process super easy for anyone to use and set up. But we are delighted to announce that we are on track in fixing these issues and have made some significant progress. During our development, we were also able to implement additional features such as cloning one user's installation onto another instantly in order to recover from ransomware infections and other corruptions. We are also planning to contribute back some of our work to the open source community so that the world can benefit from our findings without necessarily using our software. As it's been in development for several months, we conducted a small-scale test at a local high school in South Korea. We were pleased to see the students flawlessly following the teacher's instructions on programming Arduino. The school was also delighted to hear that our project can reduce the hardware costs by 60%. We hope to finish our first prototype version in the next few months and ask the community for early feedback. Ultimately, our goal is to provide schools, offices and families with a solution that can drastically reduce the hardware costs, as well as power bills and electronic wastes. What do you think? Do you think this is the future? Would you use it personally? Or do you think this is just pointless? We're open to criticism. Please leave your feedback by using the like and dislike button and the comment section below. Feel free to ask technical questions. We'd love to hear back from you.